Hello everyone, welcome back to Kubia Games. In this video, I will show you uh, Hanoi Tower 9 or Tower of Hanoi. It's a game that you probably have seen before. It's kind of a classic, it's pretty old. It's a math puzzle. It's kind of frustrating. I was a little frustrated when I tried to solve it the first time. And even if you know the trick, which I'm gonna tell you right now, it still is very confusing and you can uh, make a lot of mistakes and it's fun. Um, the fastest way to solve it is 196 steps. I'm not gonna show you all 196 steps, but I'm gonna give you the formula basically on how to solve it. So let's go ahead and get to it. This is the box that it comes in. It's very, very pretty. Um, you can see you have three holes here and the lid comes off and then you have the rods and the discs so basically what you want to do is you want to place them here like this and the third one and then you have the disc so the disc should be organized from biggest to smallest i like to put them on the left And then you can do this. And now you have like a little platform to play on. So what, what is the concept of the game? What is the goal? The objective is to get all of these discs to this rod and for them to be aligned like this, biggest to smallest. Now you have two rules. You can only move one disc at a time and you cannot put a bigger disc on a smaller disc so this is not allowed all right all right so the trick is basically um what i like to do is i like to divide it so right here we have nine discs i'm going to treat it first of all as one disc my goal is to take this disc and move it to here right so there if this is the easiest uh stage of this game then i solved it right i put it here and as you can see one an odd number, right? Now, let's just say I want to do two discs, right? So two, even number. I will put this disc in storage. So we have this one, I call it storage, and this is the destination. So we put the first one in storage, second one in destination, then we can move the smaller one, and we solved the second level, allegedly. Now, if we go back and now we want to play with three discs right so three it's an odd number so the first one should go to my destination right and then the second one should go to my storage now smaller goes on bigger this goes here this goes here now i can solve it again you need to Divide it into small problems. That is the best way to solve the bigger problem of nine discs. So let's just keep on going. We have three here. Now we want to move this over here. So what do we do, right? How do we solve this? We're going to start with, let's see. So we have three here. We have one here. Let's first of all, move it here and then this is my destination right now okay i want to build all of them on here uh, no you know what this is my destination because i want to move this here and then rebuild it here so this is my destination i have three so i'm going to start again odd number i'm going to start with smallest piece first piece at my destination and then i'm going to move the second piece to my storage first piece will stay at storage too, then I can move this here, I can move this here, and then I moved all of them there. Now I can move this one to my destination. Again, now I want to move these three here, so I can move this one here. So again, my destination is this, I have three, it's an odd number. First one is at my destination. Second one is at the storage, bringing this back to storage, moving this to my destination. Now I have two that needs to go. So two is an even number. 
This is my destination. So the first one will go to storage. This is a storage for now. Now this goes here. And now, again, allegedly, I only have one disk to move. So it's an odd number. So it goes straight to the destination. All right. So this is sort of the formula of this game. Um, it's a little uh, complicated once you like try to play with nine discs. But if you keep on going like that, um, remember, even number, you go straight to your destination. Odd number, you put the first one in the storage and divide it into small problems, right? So like if I want to move this here now, now I need to clear this so this could move here. I have four discs here. It's an even number. So the first one will go, I want to move all of them here, right? To my storage. This is my storage right now. Uh, sorry, this is my destination right now. So this can clear up. So I want to move all of them here. So I start with this in storage. And then this in here. And then I bring this back here. I put this here. This goes here. This goes here. Now... I want to move this here. I have two of these here. These two need to move. Mm, let's see. It's See, I told you. It's very confusing. Um, so I have two that need to go here, but then this needs to go there too. So wait, let's try and do um, this. Okay, see? It's confusing. It's not as easy as it looks. Um, let's see, because I want to move this here. So I have three that need to go here. So three, odd number. The first one goes in the destination. This is my destination. And then this goes here, this goes here, this goes here, and then two. So this will go to storage. This will go here, and this will go here. Now this can go here, this is clear. And now I need to move three again. So three, odd number, first one goes to destination. Second one goes to storage. This goes here. This goes here. Oops, sorry. And then I have two that need to go there. First one goes into storage. Second one goes to destination. Then first one goes to destination. Now we can move this here. And now we have four, all these, that need to move here so this can come out. So you see, this is the whole concept. Remember, if it's an odd number, go straight to your destination. If it's an even number, go to storage. That will be the first disc, goes to storage, and then so on and so forth. Remember that divided into small problems. As you saw here, it could be very confusing. Even if you have the cheat sheet, you can get very confused and very frustrated, especially if you have nine discs. Um, yeah, this is Tower of Hanoi. It's super fun. It's a lot of work. A lot of math, a lot of, uh, I don't know, like spatial reasoning. I personally like it very, very much. It's nice to like clear your head and try and play with it. Um, yeah, make sure to leave a comment if you have any more questions in the comment section or if you want to know more, you want to say something, you like it, you don't like it. Um, we would love to hear from you. And if you like brain teasers and puzzle games and puzzles in general, uh, make sure to check out our collection at kubiagames.com. You have the link in the description box. And that was that. Thank you.